After years of yearning from fans, intense speculation, rumors, unthinkably massive data breaches, and even an FBI investigation, co-founder and president of Rockstar Games, Sam Hauser, posted on the studio blog and Twitter account on November 8th that the first trailer for the next Grand Theft Auto will be released in early December. In just a few hours, the tweet had nearly 100 million views, almost 500,000 retweets, and over a million likes. For an announcement of an announcement, but how did hype for the next entry in the vaunted series reach such a fever pitch? Let's take a look at everything we know about Grand Theft Auto 6. While we didn't get any actual details about GTA 6 until a report from Kotaku in 2020, there were murmurings more than a decade ago before GTA 5 was even released. Between bits and pieces like hypothetical comments from the newly departed former president of Rockstar North, Leslie Benzies, in interviews with Digital Trends in 2012, and a Tech Radar report in 2016 that GTA 6 was in development, there's been a quiet simmering of rumors in the background ever since the launch of Grand Theft Auto V. That simmering turned into a slow boil when co-founder of Rockstar Games and brother to Sam, Dan Hauser, while giving an interview to GQ about Red Dead Redemption 2, spoke about the difficulty of satirizing the then-present-day stranger-than-fiction landscape. It's really unclear what we would even do with Grand Theft Auto 6, let alone how upset people would get with whatever we did. Dan Hauser's probably very honest deflections aside, with the abundance of these rumors and insider reports, it's safe to assume that since the release of Grand Theft Auto V, some version of GTA 6 was always in at least pre-production at Rockstar, but we first reliably heard that GTA 6 was in development from the 2020 Kotaku report only a few short months after the departure of Dan Hauser from the studio. While this report from Kotaku was primarily focused on Rockstar's workplace culture, it mentioned that the next GTA was early in development, and this was confirmed to IGN by an anonymous source close to Rockstar. Rockstar Games. The report also mentioned a possible decrease in scope to help alleviate crunch with larger title and map updates at a future date. While a few more leaks and rumors would abound in the next two years, finally, in February of 2022, Rockstar sent out a press release claiming that development was well underway. A decade's worth of smoke had finally led to a very real fire, and we had official confirmation from the studio. Thankfully, the worst part of the wait seemed to be over, as more info about GTA 6 started to drop pretty quickly. Our first concrete details, or at least as concrete as they could be without coming straight from Rockstar, were reported by Bloomberg in July of 2022, five months after the official announcement. This report seemed to confirm the altered scope of Grand Theft Auto 6, claiming that it would start with one city, Miami, with more to be added later. But it also mentioned that map size may be traded for density, as this new entry contained more inside locations than any GTA game previously. Vice City is 24 karat gold these days. The other big detail about the game in the report was about its duo of protagonists, a pair of bank robbers akin to Bonnie and Clyde. Now if everybody will just take it easy, nobody will get hurt. Not much was mentioned about the male protagonist, but the female was said to be Latina. If true, this would be the first female protagonist in a GTA game since the very first Grand Theft Auto, and the first overall in a full 3D GTA in the style we know today. Much of the Bloomberg report, like the Kotaku one before it two years earlier, focused on the changes in workplace structure that Rockstar had undergone since Red Dead Redemption 2. A crackdown on crunch and the male-dominated workplace culture seemed to be paying real dividends for studio health, but some were frustrated with the lack of progress the game was making due to the addition of extra producers and bottlenecks in the workflow, leading to many staff members departing the studio, and casting doubt on the assumed release date in Take-Two's 2024 fiscal year. Still, it appeared GTA 6 was indeed well on its way to completion, barring any catastrophe. On Sunday, September 18th, two months after the Bloomberg report, an immense leak out of Rockstar blew the development process of GTA 6 wide open. GTA forums user Teapot Uber Hacker dropped 90 pieces of footage from the still unfinished project, as well as raw assets and even game code. These leaks covered everything from combat to enemy behaviors and even fully voiced conversations. And while many of the leaked materials have been scoured from the internet to the best of Take-Two Interactive's ability, the leaks confirm the earlier reports of the male and female protagonists and the game's setting, Miami. This is a disaster. We are so screwed, man. Rockstar itself confirmed the hack's legitimacy in a tweet the next day, claiming that it would properly introduce this next game when it is ready. The FBI even got involved, as the same hacking group seemed to be tied to the Uber, Microsoft, NVIDIA, and Samsung hacks, and an arrest of a teenager was made in July of this year in conjunction with several of these high-profile hacks, including Rockstar's. But the damage to Rockstar had been done, as much of what was in the Bloomberg report earlier that year had been confirmed. Okay, now what the hell are we gonna do? 
Other bits and pieces unearthed by the leak and gathered into a PDF by various GTA Discord communities included advances in lighting similar to the tech developed for Red Dead 2, new systems like money laundering and robberies, which would certainly fit with the Bonnie and Clyde theme, and tiny details like raccoons going through your garbage. But all of these were leaks of a game still far away from its final release, so all or none of it could be included in the final product. But what of GTA 6's multiplayer? GTA Online has become its own entity apart from GTA 5 and is still going strong. A 2021 patent unearthed on Reddit that was filed by Rockstar's parent company Take-Two and focuses on NPC behavior specifically mentions virtual navigation and management of objects in a multiplayer network gaming community. So this could have big implications for the future of multiplayer GTA. But the patent's details also mention Xbox One and PS4 consoles, so this could have been just something they were implementing throughout their work on GTA Online. Regardless, whether it's an evolution of GTA Online, a new iteration of it, or a more integrated dovetail with GTA 6, the online component of GTA remains an enormous possible cash cow, one that Rockstar isn't likely to ignore. It's possible that with the addition of new cities and missions, as is rumored, more online elements will make their way into what we thought of as a traditional single-player campaign, and this hybrid multiplayer world is just what GTA is now. But integrated into the campaign or not, expect some iteration of GTA Online to stick around. Back in 2021, Tom Henderson reported rumors of a likely 2024 or 25 release date, a window that was then corroborated by Bloomberg's Jason Schreier and VGC's Andy Robinson on Twitter. A lot can change in two to three years of development, but in May of this year, Take-Two Interactive shared their projections in a press release for fiscal year 2025, a period running from April of 2024 to March of 2025. In those projections were some truly staggering numbers. In fiscal 2025, we expect to enter this new era by launching several groundbreaking titles that we believe will set new standards in our industry and enable us to achieve over $8 billion in net bookings and over $1 billion in adjusted, unrestricted operating cash flow. IGN's own Rebecca Valentine reported on the press release, saying that the past fiscal year for Take-Two reached $5.3 billion, a record annual high. So, to achieve $8 billion, Take-Two would need to make significant acquisitions or release nearly double the amount of games it historically has or release at least one absolute behemoth of a game. Given all the previous information and Rockstar's recent trailer announcement, it seems we can finally expect Grand Theft Auto 6 to be released sometime next year if not soon after. As far as platforms are concerned, it's hard to imagine that as ambitious as GTA games usually are, and as far into the PS5 and Xbox Series generation we are, that will see GTA 6 on the PS4 and Xbox One. But we'll very likely eventually have a PC version, even if it's a staggered launch for the console versions as they did with GTA 5. It's been a long road, but our first look at Grand Theft Auto 6 is almost here. We've been through every kind of news story imaginable, to studio restructuring, insane leaks, the departure of longtime studio heads, to even FBI involvement in the investigation of cybercrime. And the craziest thing is that Rockstar hasn't even called it GTA 6 yet, only the next Grand Theft Auto, so they could really be cooking up anything. But all these detours lead to the same place, the reveal trailer of what's bound to be one of the biggest games of all time in early December. To hear all about it, as it happens, make sure you stay tuned to IGN.